So, yeah, I got a, this rudder project going. Um, I, I found some spots like, uh, oh, I can't see. I found spots kind of like this one that were just kind of discolored, kind of dark, that were, uh, that were concerning me. Other spots like uh, this one down here. Um, so I started sanding away a little bit. Um, and yeah, whatever's going on down here at the bottom is just not looking good. That just like some epoxy that somebody's been doing some repairs. So I didn't want to deal with these rudder issues. Um, and I tried to ignore them. I mean, I sounded things out. We're just kind of tapping around with like a screwdriver looking for kind of any kind of delamination of the rudder. But I went ahead and sanded them down. That wasn't the funnest project. Um, where I started sanding them down, and I'm about to continue here in a second. So this one's been sanded. Um, and some real concern points here are right here. Uh, it was just kind of weak. And, you know, I just I just kind of started poking at it with a screwdriver. Let me see if I can see. I started poking at this with a screwdriver, and, uh, and this one too, and then up here. And it just, you know, it just peeled away. Um, I mean, it didn't peel away easy. I had to kind of work at it, but it was enough that I was like that. You know, it's too too weak to just leave it. Um, so yeah, at first I was like, "Shit, we need to take these rudders out of the boat and completely rebuild them or buy new ones," which is a huge project. And we have 20 days before we go in the water. So this is just, I just don't need this project right now. This is not good news. Um, so for a minute there today, I was like, great, we have 20 days. We're not gonna get in the water in 20 days. Now the Torrance's Marina is gonna charge me for storage for the summer and blah, 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 and, which wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, that'd be okay. But then I was like, you know what? This isn't so bad. I mean, like this spot here, this is pretty solid. Like, you know, once I got the chipping gel coat off, it's not so bad. Like I can't, I can't pop this through there. Um, so that I, I'm gonna drill a hole through that just to see what's going on inside of it. But otherwise, that's an easy repair. This situation up here, that was really concerning to me. Um, but I think what I can do is just drop the rudder down and then repair the fiberglass around the shaft. You know, get some new fiberglass mat, kind of just do do a repair job. Uh, make it look, to, uh, it doesn't have to look good. It has gotta be functional, not pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue sanding this thing down, but before I do that, I'm gonna drill a couple of holes through this rudder in a couple of spots and see if any water comes out. Let's hope not. All right, so I drilled several holes. Like this one, uh, we got one over here somewhere. Let's see. Uh, yeah, one over there, one over there. Anyway, no, no water came out when I was drilling the holes. Like, everything was really, really dry. So that was reassuring. Um, I also feel really good having gotten both rudders sanded down. Um, there weren't as many cracks as I thought there was going to be. So that's good. Um, now I'm going to take a little Dremel grinder and grind out cracks like this one. Um, and there's all these kind of cracks along, along the, the rudder and like these little pinhole things. I don't know what's going on with those. Um, so basically, yeah, just grind that stuff out. Um, then figure out how to fill it. So I dug this giant hole here and over there. It was very, very hard. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then I sanded underneath the bottoms of the rudder, so those are all uh, pretty well sanded up. I uh, got some blue there still. The other one is really messed up. I think the fairing compound, uh, somebody must have just added a bunch of fairing compound. It doesn't look bad from over here. Uh, I mean, they look about the same, to be honest, but we'll go over that one. This one just had a bunch of chunks come off of the bottom uh, in the front. It was right here. It was a bunch coming off right here. It was really, really jagged, um, but it's smooth now. Um, and yeah, it really, it really doesn't look too bad. So I ground all these guys out. 
um, all these little chips. Any anywhere I found like a crack, um, I just took a little Dremel to it and um, actually, uh, yeah, I just took this little guy, this little tip thing. Can't really see it. Um, and it was pretty easy. I just kind of followed the cracks and uh, saw how deep it went. And, you know, I, I ground down until the crack went away and then, um, you know, ground past the edges a little bit. So to, to make sure I covered everything and yeah, um, if it was really bad or if water had gotten in, I could kind of tell the fiberglass was really weak and the drum tool would, would push in pretty easily. Fortunately, I didn't really find too many spots like that. And this rudder is in a way better shape than that one over there is. It all sounds pretty good. Um, so yeah, overall, you know, I was really concerned about this project yesterday and, you know, a couple weeks before that. Uh, but after sanding the paint off and grinding into these cracks, um, I feel a lot better that these are, oh, and drilling the holes and having no water come out of them, everything is dry. Um, I feel so much better just kind of knowing what I'm dealing with and knowing that these rotors are a lot more solid than I thought they were. Um, so that, that feels good. Now I'm going to drop them out of the boat. That's why I dug these holes so I can drop them down to look at these bearings. Um, this one I can tell it, it shouldn't really be wiggling like that. Indicating that there, there's too much play in the rudder. Um, I think the bearing might be going bad inside there. The other one is really, really solid, but this one, so I ground all this to be a nice, you know, sharp edge. I basically just ground it out until uh, until it wasn't easy to grind anymore. Um, it just got really hard, and that's kind of how I knew it was past the water damage area. So this whole thing needs to be dealt with, and so to, to get at that, I need to drop this rudder down. So I dug a really deep hole on this side. Um, so I can really drop this down and have a nice uh, amount of working room to figure out what the heck is going on and how to fix it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure what's going on here is that there's there's a there's a composite rudder post I know about um, that goes into this rudder. And as far as I know, it's just fiberglassed around here. Like I, I think the structural stuff is inside here where there's like these stainless steel like kind of webbing things in there that are holding the rudder onto the, the composite post. So I think all this jazz up here is just, I don't think it's structural, but we're gonna find out. And even if it is, I'm gonna build it back up and it's gonna be awesome. All right, I got this uh, system set up to catch the rudder as it falls from the boat. Um, I have a feeling this uh, rudder is going to be heavier than I, I think it is. So that's, that's you know, pinned in there pretty good. Um, I don't want it to drop out and do any damage. So we've already got enough damage here that we're trying to repair. Um, so one reason I found that I'm glad that I did this is, one, I just understand my whole... Um, rudder system better um, How everything's going together. Um, so I dismantled this dismantled the steering um, Well, whatever that is connector rod thing that goes that goes through the boat to the other rudder, which you know, I knew about all that um, But you know by taking this guy off it, it, it allowed me to be able to freely turn this so that's neat um, Kind of got a feel for oh sh I shouldn't be turning that because yeah, got this stuff downstairs uh, down below, but um, the thing that was neat for me is that I realized that this little pin here is the only thing that's holding the rudder into the boat. So that's good to know. And then there's a cotter pin on either side, and this one had a little broken thing there, you can see. So that's kind of scary. Um, good news is I don't think it was going anywhere, but still, hey. Okay. Should be replaced, right? I mean, you don't want your rudder to fall out of the boat. So since I turned that thing, I'm going to uh, go make sure the support system is still in place. Then I am going to knock this pin out of here. And the rudder post should be able to drop down at that point. And uh, we'll see what we're actually dealing with. So I got the rudder. The rudder dropped out both sides. Um, yeah, it's 
It's been interesting. Um, this one had some goop that somebody tried to fill in, so that's not cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Well, so yeah, there's a copper, there's a copper like plate up here that this rides around. Um, that seems to be all good. I mean, this all looks solid to me. Uh, over there, the copper piece came down, um, and, and luckily it, you know, came right off the, the stainless steel bearing. And then I had John from Torrance Marine come over and take a look, and he kind of like walked me through um, any points to be concerned about. But overall, he wasn't too worried at all. Um, he said to just grind down these loose bits of fiberglass um, that have been kind of saturated. And uh, he said the rudder sounds solid to me, and you know I was like, hey John, you know after we fix this thing up, would you uh, would you cross an ocean with this rudder? And he was like, yeah, definitely, you know without a doubt. Um, so that made me feel a lot better. He's not concerned about the shafts or the bearings or anything. He says it all looks really good. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, I took a flashlight and looked up in there. Uh, there was like some plastic that came out of there, um, like some tape like red tape, electrical tape almost, that it looks like somebody may have used to kind of keep things in place. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. That's, uh, that's uh, Lagoon 3D Catamaran rudder post bearing and, uh, and rudder with messed up stuff going on.